Well greetings, this is Trev from OnlinePCLearning.com. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a linked picture that you can toggle on and off. Now a very handy thing to do if you want to show people data on their data entry sheet or on a summary sheet that is contained on another sheet. For instance in this staff leave planner we can toggle in a picture of all of the database information or all of the spreadsheet information for staff that are on leave. Just toggle it on and off when we want. We don't need to go over here to the archive sheet, sorry, to the planner sheet. We can stay on the data entry sheet and just toggle it on and off. Now here's another example. Here's a vacancy, a vacancy management sheet that allows us to be able to manage staff in a, in a hospital basically. We're able to toggle all information on and off here. But what we can also do is we have a summary sheet of summary of all those that are vacant for the different wards and grades and so on. But what we're able to do is to show that sheet here. We don't need to go to it. While we're working on our sheet here and we want to see who's available, we can just quickly at any moment pick up the information and that will help us in making informed decisions as we're working on the sheet. Just toggles on and off. So how do you do it? Well, here's the process. And we're going to use the staff leave planner that many of you may have created as the basis for this tutorial because if you want to add this to it, you can. Now, here's our planner information. This is the information here. We want to toggle this information, have it appear as a picture on this front sheet. Well, how do we do it? Well, let's first of all show the ribbon. We're going to go up here and show commands and tabs. We'll then go to our planner sheet. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to highlight, or if we've got our sheet protected, we better unprotect it first of all. And we'll go back to our data entry sheet and just make sure that that's unprotected for the moment as well. This will work on a protected sheet, by the way, but I'm just doing this so we can copy the data. So we're going to our planner sheet and then we're grabbing all the information here that we want to link or we want to be in our linked picture all the way down to there, back to the home tab at the top and we're choosing copy. So now you see our little moving dotted lines that indicates that that information has now been sent to the clipboard. Everything there is sent to the clipboard. We now want to paste it. So the next thing to do is go to the area where you want to paste it, which is this data entry sheet here. Click on the Paste tab here and choose Paste Link. Now you might be thinking it didn't work. Well it did, it's down here. I'll just pull it up. A couple of things here to note, in fact this picture is too big for what we want. So we're just going to minimize it down so we can work with it. And you'll notice something else about it. You can see through it. Well, how do we fix that? Well, back to the planner sheet. What we want to do is go back to our planner sheet and all the information in here, hit escape to clear the clipboard, all this information in here has no fill background. We're going to put a white fill background in. Unless you want to leave it transparent. So just right click format cells up here, here to fill and choose white. OK, now we go back to our data entry sheet, we'll see that the information is blocked out because it's got a white background. Here's our picture. Put it in the place you want and size it. Try to size it so you size the X and Y axis together, otherwise you're going to get a little bit of distortion. So we'll just bring that down, I'm just going to bring it down to about there. I think that will do us just nicely. So we've got our link picture, we've got it on the sheet that we want, now we just need a little bit of EBA code to toggle it on and off with a button. How do we get that? Now I guess just before we move on I should explain something about this. This is not a picture of the data, this is a picture of your spreadsheet. So if we were to go to the, the spreadsheet here and add a, a, and insert another picture on top of the spreadsheet. So we go pictures, let's find something we can put into here. Alright, we'll put this in, just an image. Pop it in up here. Now when we go back, so we put an image now on top of our spreadsheet, on top of the data that's in the spreadsheet, the formulas and whatever. We'll go back to data entry and you'll notice that that image appears. Because what we have here is a picture of the spreadsheet, an object picture that we're taking of it. Now what we want to know is what is the, the name given to that shape that is now on this sheet. So let's see if we can find out. Now there is more than one way to find the name, but I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it. So what we want to do is find out the name of this sheet, or the name of this object. What is the name of the object? Well, let's just click on the object, 
We'll go to the Developer tab. If you don't have the Developer tab showing, you can activate that from Files, Options, and uh, then I'll just quickly show you how to do that. Files, Options, and then up here, Customize the Ribbon, and make sure Developer tab is ticked there. Okay, we'll just pop back in here. We want to record a macro, so record macro. Don't worry about any of the details in here. Just simply go OK. Now, deselect the shape, select the shape, and then move it a fraction. And then stop recording. Let's go and have a look at that code in the VBA editor. Hit Alt and F11 to open the Visual Basic editor. And here is the code that we want to have a look at. It's macro number two. And you see it's telling us that the shape is picture, space. Notice the space in there, seven select. So we don't want all of the code that's in here. We just want a little bit of it. We don't need this here, and we don't need the movement of the, the image. We just want this bit of code here that says active sheet shapes range array. And in fact, th there's no array here. There's only a single. We can just get rid of that. We can just call it active sheet shapes picture seven select. So if we were to run this macro now on our active sheet where the, the, the object is, it should select it. So just click in there and hit the F5 key. And you'll notice if you I'll pull this out of the way onto the other screen, now our object is selected. So we've got the name of the shape that we need. We've got everything we need here and we can just quickly change it. Now how do we toggle it on and off? Well, we could say if active sheet shape picture seven um, visible equals true, then active sheet shapes picture seven visible equals false, else um, active sheet shapes picture seven visible equals true. And so we could toggle it on and off with an if statement, an if else statement. But there's an easier way, you don't need to do that. So let's just go in here and remove select and we'll just type in visible. So we've got active sheet shapes picture seven dot visible equals and then type in not and then copy the first piece of code again copy it over copy and then paste it the other side of there click outside so what have we got we're saying active sheet shapes picture seven visible equals not so in other words it's an automatic toggle there the reason why we can do that with this is because we're using the same object and the same we're, we're just asking for true or false that's really all we're doing is it visible or is it not so let's see if that works. If we were to click in here now, I'll minimize this down so you can see it, we should start to see our, remove this, we should start to see that shape toggle on and off. So it's gone, F5 again, it's back, works beautifully. Okay, so that's the piece of code we need. Let's change its name here to toggle. That's all we really need. Close that up, assign a shape, insert, Let's go here to shapes and assign a nice little shape to here. Well, actually, what we might do is we've already got one highlighted here. We'll copy this shape and paste it. And then we'll change the name, edit the text, and we'll call this toggle. And then assign that macro to it. Right click, and we're going to choose assign macro. Toggle. OK. And if there's a hyperlink there, which it is, we'll just remove that hyperlink as well. All we now need to do is click this button going to toggle on and off our shape. We just hide our ribbon. And here we go. Now that shape needs to be adjusted. So we're going to pull it down here and there we go. We can now just toggle our shape on and off. It'll work on a protected sheet just the same. Why don't you try using that to help your user? Very nice, easy little piece of information that you can present to the user at any given time. Be moderate with it. Remember, it is an object, a large object on the sheet. Don't start go sticking half a dozen of these on there. This is Trev from OnlinePClearning.com. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this has been a help. Have a great day and bye for now.